15 TGIF stars who tried to revive their careers, but failed. The 1990s was a generation that boasted some of the greatest television sitcoms of all time, and many feel that the quality of television shows has declined since the end of the decade. Networks were in heavy competition with each other, producing shows that resonated with fans and achieved critical acclaim. This fierce competition led to an incredible output of shows that remain cherished over two decades since they aired on television. Among the television flops that fans loved the most, TGIF was one of the pillars of 1990s television, and the list of hit shows that appeared on TGIF is nearly unrivaled by other networks during the decade. If you're old enough to remember tuning into TGIF during the 90s, then you remember the anticipation that each Friday night brought, promising to deliver the best entertainment on television. The shows were family-friendly, and while that term may seem bad, TGIF made sure to pump out high-quality shows that everyone was able to enjoy. Many of the actors that appeared on the TGIF lineup became celebrities during the decade, and many expected to see their faces for years to come. After all, who wants to live in a world where Urkel isn't the planet's biggest star? Sadly, these 15 performers found their success on TGIF, and despite their attempts to break a big in the industry, they'll be best known for their performances in the 1990s. Get ready to take a stroll down memory lane because these 15 names are going to make you dust off some old VHS tapes. 8. Trina McGee much like the case of Maitland Ward, Trina Mahi's character, Angela, was another character that was introduced in the latter part of Boy Meets World. Angela was the love interest of Sean Hunter, and Trina ended up spending the total of 60 episodes on the series from 1997 to 2000. Angela was good friends with Topanga, and a lot of episodes that centered around her and Sean dealing with more serious issues for older audiences. After her time on Boy Meets World, Trina Mahi continued finding work on television, though her attempts at landing a role on a hit sitcom were for naught. She was able to land roles in several films, including the comedy Friday After Next, but Trina will always be best known for her time on Boy Meets World. Of course, being part of one of the greatest sitcoms in television history is quite the achievement. Much like Lee Norris and a slip of other former cast members, she's appeared on the revival series Girl Meets World. 9. Lee Norris One of the better components of Boy Meets World was its dedication to delivering characters we were all familiar with. And Lee Norris's character, Stuart Minkus, was a kid that we all went to school with. He was far too intelligent for his own good and he seemed incredibly comfortable belittling Corey and Sean for their habits. Norris was a main character who appeared in 22 episodes of the series. His time on Boy Meets World was relatively short-lived, but his character is one that many people still remember to this day. Interestingly, Lee Norris found his biggest career success on the series One Tree Hill in 2003, though most people remember that show for the actresses as opposed to the actors. Once One Tree Hill shut down shop in 2012, Lee Norris continued to act, but his appearances have been relegated to smaller roles. He did appear in five episodes of the revival series Girl Meets World, much to the delight of fans who grew up with the original series. 10. Orlando Brown There was once a period of time when Orlando Brown was a very popular actor. His more recent actions, however, have turned him into one of the most bizarre former celebrities in Hollywood. Most people may not remember this, but Orlando Brown actually appeared in 21 episodes of Family Matters. His appearances were relegated to the final years of the show. Afterward, Brown ended up finding a plethora of success on the Disney Channel as he lent his voice to the series The Proud Family and by appearing on the hit show That's So Raven. But O.W. sighed with the comforts of the Disney Channel, Brown had a much tougher time making anything happen in his career. In recent years, Orlando Brown has attempted several times to hop back into the spotlight but his bizarre and seemingly erratic behavior has dashed any hopes he had of becoming relevant again. 
His most recent film appearance came back in 2016 when he appeared in the movie Bloody Hands. 11. Maitland Ward. Toward the tail end of Boy Meets World, the cast of characters hadn't grown up and made their way to college, opening the door for an abundance of fresh new characters to interact with the original cast. At the time, Maitland Ward was a young actress who was cast as the character Rachel, and she spent a total of 45 episodes on Boy Meets World from 1998 to 2000. Rachel ended up being at the center of the love triangle between Jack and Eric, and she was a female popular character during her time on series. The hit show can be the key to getting a young actor into the business, though not everyone will reap the same rewards as their co-stars. Despite Ward doing the good job while on Boy Meets World, her attempts at becoming a star in Hollywood ultimately fell short. Her appearance in the 2004 comedy film White Chicks gave the actress a drastically different look, and fans of the show Boy Meets World hardly recognized her. The film ended up being a financial success at the box office, but Ward never became a major player on the Hollywood scene. 12. Barry Deuce McCreary Tasked with portraying the character Eddie Winslow on Family Matters, actor Barry Deuce McCreary became a notable face during the 1990s. After all, Family Matters was one of the most successful shows on television during that decade. It ran nine seasons, and it aired a total of 215 episodes. For McCreary, on Family Matters was the biggest success of his career and he went on to appear in all but seven episodes of the series. Once Family Matters reached its conclusion in 1998, McCreary continued to act in various projects, but they all fell short of the success of Family Matters. His biggest success always came on television, despite a number of attempts to break into the film industry. His biggest success after Family Matters came back in 2005 when he appeared on the series Committed. The show only lasted for one season, and NBC quickly pulled the plug on the project. 13. Will Friedel For 157 episodes, actor Will Friedel portrayed the character Eric Matthews son Boy Meets World. Eric was Corey's older brother, and his character's drastic change in personality throughout the series remains one of the biggest head-scratchers of the 1990s. In the early going, Eric was an incredibly handsome ladies' man who seemed more concerned with skirt chasing than being the good older brother. As the show progressed, Eric turned into a complete buffoon, and he was stripped of the charm he had in the show's earlier seasons. Despite his character's rejection, Chris Lee did an incredible job with the character, and he seems poised to have a spectacular career in front of the camera. While Riedel found success in the entertainment industry, it all came from behind the camera. He never became the actor that many thought he would be. Instead, he focused more on lending his voice acting talents to various projects. 14. Ryder Strong Who didn't watch Boy Meets World back in the 1990s? It was one of the greatest sitcoms of its time, and even now, people have nothing but incredible things to say about the show. While on the series, Ryder Strong was tasked with playing the character Sean Hunter, Corey Matthews' best friend and childhood pal. The two provided an excellent counterbalance to each other, and their relationship throughout the show's run was something that many younger viewers were able to relate to. After Boy Meets World officially ended in 2000, Ryder Strong continued to make his way in Hollywood though he failed to ever reclaim the level of success that he reached while on Boy Meets World. Looking through his filmography, you can see that his biggest film role came back in 2002 in the horror film Cabin Fever. Cabin Fever was a surprise hit at the box office, and it ended up pulling down $30 million during its theatrical release. 15. Jaleel White not only was Jalea White arguably the biggest star on the TGIF lineup during the 1990s, but he was also one of the biggest stars on television of all time. Family Matters was a show that started off with Jalea as more of a recurrent character, but as time went on, 
it became exponentially clear to viewers of the show and the directors that the Lost Steam Circle was going to be a cultural phenomenon. Lo and behold, their expectations turned out to be true, and Julia White ended up appearing in 204 episodes of the beloved series. This was the end of the road in terms of mainstream popularity for White, though, and despite his attempt at picking up projects over the years, nothing he's started has come remotely close to achieving the level of success of Family Matters. The closest that White ever got to reaching moderate level of success was within the series total blackout.